Good evening. So, um, it's really rare to have a newspaper from the 1980s. Typically, the only ones that were saved were because there was a tragedy or some kind of momentous occasion. Otherwise, people might have saved papers if, if they had a family member in them, you know, like for a 4-H contest or something like that. But in this case, um, this is another... Uh, newspaper from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, the Herald Standard, and the reason it was saved is because um, the Challenger crashed, and this was July 30th, 1986, so the Challenger had uh, just crashed, and um, so this is a time capsule, and I think that in time we're going to see the end of newspapers as a, a communication form. I think that the internet and cell phones have already made them obsolete. But at least right now, you know, I can record some of these and you can have the experience of looking at this very uh, pristine 1986 newspaper from Pennsylvania. That is, the cover story is the, the Challenger disaster, but also we can see what a newspaper was like in 1986. So... It's the uh, Herald Standard. There's a little map so you can see where you're at. Um, it was a 25 cent paper. NASA seeks clues to explain shuttle blast. Cape Canaveral. The Coast Guard pulled 600 pounds of metal and tiles from Challenger out of the Atlantic Ocean Wednesday. And experts impounded every bit of data for clues to the death of seven people in the world's worst space disaster. You, uh, just by that paragraph, you, you know that this is the very, very beginning of the recovery because 600 pounds is just a drop in the bucket for the, uh, the payload of the crash. So they were really, you know, searching the bottom of the Atlantic. It was several miles off the coast and, uh, it was just a terrible, terrible mess and, uh, um, I mean, there were pieces scattered in this, such a huge uh, debris field. NASA said the five men and two women aboard the 100-ton shuttle probably had no warning of the impending explosion. The debris collected by Wednesday afternoon did not include any clothing or personal effects of the astronauts. A cone-shaped object, possibly from the nose of one of the shuttle's solid rocket boosters, was spotted, but it was too big to put aboard the small cutter U.S. Da US Dallas. A buoy tender was sent to the area. And uh, so here we have a picture. A soldier removes a piece of debris thought to be part of the Challenger Wednesday. So there's an, Air Force, an airman and he is um, uh, carrying a piece of debris. Nation warns disaster victims by Tamara Jones. Why did all these good people have to die? Why now? Why them? The unanswerable questions of a 10-year-old Minneapolis schoolgirl reflected the anguish of a nation Wednesday as families, friends, and admirers grieved for the seven victims aboard the shuttle Challenger. Wall Street tickers briefly halted and flags fluttered at half-staff. Radio stations, schools, and legislators observed moments of silence. At the White House, President Reagan pledged to continue the space program, then turned to the sad task of telephoning families of the victims to offer his condolences. So, um, he was going to do a State of the Union the night the Challenger took off, and it was going to be a great opportunity, uh, you know, provided that the, the mission had gone well, but everything changed that night. Ex-local man talks about deaths of fellow astronauts. In the wake of the space program disaster that killed two friends, astronaut Bob Sinker has qualified his statement that he would ride the shuttle again. I certainly can't say that I wouldn't go. But by the same token, I can't say I would go, said Kinker, Sinker. It would depend on the time and circumstances. He was a space board, a, a payload specialist aboard Columbia, which actually would crash itself a few la years later. Definite health hazard exists in fair, in fair chance water, DER says. Uh, now we're getting into local news. And they're talking about uh, toxic water. And that's the great thing about news, local newspapers is they would cut to the chase. They'd have the top stories so you'd know the, the news you needed to know. Here's a murder story. Suspect faces trial in Dawson shooting. 
David Eugene Lint, charged with attempting to shoot former Dawson police officer Roger Adams, was ordered Wednesday to stand trial by District Justice Anthony Shuley. Lint, 31, of Dawson, has been accused of shooting at Adams and former Dawson Mayor Jesse Keffler while they worked at the Dawson Borough building during the early morning. Well, it was an attempted murder. Well, I'm glad to hear that there wasn't a full murder here. And then you have a deaths. There's an index. has old Ann Landers and all the old things you used to see in these newspapers. Here's an ad for uh, Robitussin. Uh, has an, I don't believe that's changed one bit. Um, the good old cough medicine for winter time. An ad for Fayette Bank. Um, Opal's furniture. A, love, a sofa, love seat, and chair for about five hundred bucks. I guess it seems to me that that's about because consistent with today i don't know it's been a long time since we bought furniture we have we've had the same furniture for ages <laughs> i'm i'm uh pretty much i i love my couch the way it is i'll probably keep that thing until i'm like my grandparents their couch was from the 20s so uh state police charge man in new year's shooting a Maryland man was arrested by state police Tuesday and charged with attempted homicide in connection with a New Year's shooting in Tigo's Tavern situated along Route 51 in North Union Township. Man. Um, see a truck stolen, a mill bag found, a car entered, a uh, house burglary, mobile home destroyed, a uh, teacher strike. Here's more about the challenger here. Here's Daniels, Men, Young Men, and Lady Daniels, downtown, uh, clothing store. Men's wear, slacks, top coats. Here's a All-American Auto Show, 1986. Don't drive yourself crazy looking for a good deal on a new car. Just drive yourself to the Laurel Mills All-American Auto Show. Huh. More about the water hazard, more about the shooting. Um, this is Levin Furniture Warehouse Clearance. Um, upholstery, bedroom, water beds, and bed. Water beds were a big deal in the 80s. I don't think they're such a big deal now. Um, but in the 80s, I, I remember going into the mall and they hired some guy to wear a suit and jump up and down on a water bed, on a water bed like in front of the store so people would when you walk by you would just see this guy jumping up and down on a water bed to demonstrate how durable they were because a lot of people thought they would bust open dinettes dining room and accents um world briefs plane crash kills 21 los mokis mexico an aero california airliner DC-3 carrying 21 people crashed today on a hill near the fog-covered airport of this Pacific port. An airline spokeswoman said all aboard were killed. There were no survivors, said Maria Castellan, spokeswoman for the airline's main office in La Paz on the Baja California Peninsula. She said the two-engine propeller plane flying from Ciudad Constitución on Baja California to Los Mokis. Fire guts huts in Hong Kong. See, President Botha expected to speak on social reform in South Africa. Uh, civilians are returned. Rebels leave town in Lisbon, Portugal. Mozambican rebels say they have withdrawn their forces from a town they seized two weeks ago following a weekend assault by government and Zimbabwean soldiers. This is not in Portugal. This is a. Guerrilla forces claim to have killed 235 government and Zimbabwean soldiers when they took. Um, Maromo on January 13th. Paulo de Oliveira, Lisbon spokesman for the rebel Mozambican National Resistance, uh, said Tuesday that 2,000 Zimbabwean soldiers and paratroopers attacked Maromo two days earlier. Zimbabwe often sends troops to aid Mozambican President Samora Michel's government in its nine-year Bush war against the rebels. I think um, it's in Lisbon because I think uh, there was a um, they speak Portuguese in Mozambique, I think. Um, Soviets laud Kennedy. A Soviet newspaper on Wednesday lauded Senator Edward N. Kennedy 
expe expected this week for Kremlin talks as a last bastion of American liberalism who was forced to quit the presidential stakes by Wall Street and Democratic Party leaders. Kennedy's retreat from a politically advanced position could by itself serve as an epitaph for liberalism American style, said the Communist Party-run Sovietskaya Russia, Soviet Russia. Um, but another thing is important. The Democrats are backing away from their perennial promise at a time when social crisis has reached an unprecedented scale, the paper said. The article responding to a reader who asked why Kennedy won't run for the office of the President of the United States in 1988 did not mention that Kennedy plans to visit Moscow this week. Well, this is some Cold, Cold War stuff. and Kennedy didn't run for president because of the, um, the uh, Chappaquiddick scandal. That was always in the... That was always going to derail his chances of getting elected. That that event uh, made him essentially unelectable as president, and that was the scandal when um, he uh, there was he was driving at night with one of his um, one of his brother's former uh, campaign workers, and uh, the the car somehow crashed into a body of water and flipped over and Kennedy swam out but the woman Mary Jo Kopetny did not make it and he didn't alert the police for a long time so it was just a big scandal we don't really there's all kinds of conspiracy theories and that's a whole video by itself to talk about as shock fades questions will begin here's the edit. this is the editorial part this is where people can write their opinions um so obviously questions yeah that's the most obvious thing Editorial wise, of course, questions will begin, uh, and they did. They did ascertain that the Challenger crashed because of faulty O rings in the booster rockets. Anti speeding tool. Uh, and a, a device that doesn't look like it caught on. I'm just gleaning over that. Um, Chaotic calendar. Let's see. Astronauts were special to the end. More challenger topics. Um, Storewide clearance uh, at the bon at the Bunton or Bonton. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not from Pennsylvania, but uh, it's a good example of a 1980s clothing store ad. Uh, the charcoal drawings of the clothing and the perfume. This is great newspaper. This is just uh, takes me back to wage attachments, law signals, banner year. Amish quilters meet English buyers at auction. Uh, and that's interesting because uh, when I watched Witness, I think the year or year around the same time, I was associated Pennsylvania with the Amish. I was so whenever I went to Pennsylvania, I would look for them. <laughs> I did run, I did an internship uh, right out, right by the Pennsylvania New Jersey border, and uh, I saw Amish people. Um, Olivia Newton John's house damaged. That's young Olivia Newton John here. Singers honored. Singers Deanne Warwick, Stevie Wonder, Gladys Knight, and Elton John have received honors from actress Elizabeth Taylor for their hit single "That's What Friends Are For." Recorded to raise money for AIDS research, a spokesman said. There was originally a Rod Stewart song. That's what friends are for. But this was a really popular song in 1986. They played it on the radio all the time. Um, the original version was for a movie called Night Shift. And it was uh, sung by Rod Stewart. Uh, eggs, eggs, eggs. Calvary United Methodist women are busy filling orders for Easter eggs. Wow, it's January and they're, they're already on it. Careerism versus intellectualism. <laughs> Interesting thing to read. You wouldn't really be reading that today. Uh, Dollar Days at J.C. Penney. Carts Uniontown Mall. First Federal. And a little tiny Lowe's Door Products ad. Uh, let's see. And Landers. That's interesting. See, um... Ann Landers and Abigail Van Buren, dear, dear Abby, were sisters, twin sisters. And they both had columns, but from what I understood, they hated each other. They did not speak to each other, but they both gave advice. And um, uh, 
Uh, this is about a kid who got injured in a high school football game. Lemon Juice Chases Mildew by Polly Fisher. It sounds like a household tip. Hip joint may need replacing. Here we got movies and entertainment. So what's going on here? Las Vegas Night at Richie Bill Fire Hall. That's good. Um, tonight at Maloney's Restaurant. Halibut Steak for $3.95. Wow. Big old, good piece of fish. Customer Appreciation Night for Fish Lovers. Um, <laughs> look at the community calendar. Redstone High School Class of 1936. Okay, what's the movies? Iron Eagle with Lou Gossett Jr. Uh, Held Over. <laughs> uh, the Eliminators starts Friday. Prizzy's Honor uh, starts Friday. Murphy's Romance with James Garner at Sally Field starts Friday. Transylvania 65000 with Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd in Spies Like Us. Really funny movie. White Knights with uh, Gregory Hines and Mikhail Baryshnikov. Um... Rob Lowe and Youngblood. They're back again. The Jewel of the Nile is a sequel to Romancing the Stone. Down Out Not in Beverly Hills. And Rocky IV. So those are the movies. Um, I do remember all of those. Inventory sale at um, Kmart. And let's see Murphy Oil Soap. Rubbermaid, Kippered Snacks, Fish Snacks, Sugar-Free Hot Cocoa, an a and Cassette Stereo for your car or light truck, Designer Paper Towels. Here's another thing about the 80s. Um, you know, you go into the store right now and you buy your paper towels and your toilet paper, and typically they're all white, just plain white. In the 80s, uh, toilet paper was all kinds of different colors, blue, pink, whatever. Paper towels, you never saw just plain white paper towels. They always had some kind of design on them. And they just stopped doing that. It's weird. Man found guilty of meat conspiracy. A 42-year-old Maryland man has been convicted of a conspiracy in aiding and abetting violations of the Federal Meat Inspection Act. That doesn't sound good. LB Seafood Festival. I guess we're in Pennsylvania, so we're closer to the coast. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of seafood here. Big, big discounts for a February sale at Chesler's Furniture. Memorial service uh, slated for Resnick. She was one of the astronauts, Judith Resnick. Uh, she will be remembered in Washington County Friday night during special memorial services at the Beth Israel Synagogue where her father's been a cancer for the past five years. Uh... And now we get to the regional news. Um, PIC director resigns post. The chief administrative officer of the Private Industry Council of Westmoreland, Fiat County, resigned his post on Wednesday. He just said he was pursuing other employment opportunities. Let me see. Yeah, it seems like... Matter of fact, news here. Probe upsets California policeman. Uh, group plans museum of Nazi death camps. Lottery numbers. What is all of this? This is um, Valentine's Sweetheart Pageant Uniontown Holiday Inn. Oh, these are little local events. Highland House Hotel, Billy Price and Care Bee. Entertainment tonight in North Union BFW. Ezzy's Pizza today and Friday's special homemade nochi. Gallatin Auto Glass. Uh, Caesar's Atlantic City includes dinner and bonus. Mancini's tonight. Crab legs all you can eat. Marlena's Exotic Dancer. Darlene, 9 to 2. Okay, shenanigans tonight. Ladies, they're back. Pittsburgh Hitmen. Sportsman Show. New Super Entertainment. The new Stadium Lounge. I live in Alabama. I can't even imagine what it's like to have all this stuff going on. I mean, entertainment here is uh, syrup sopping festivals, uh, football games, um, the flea market, going to Walmart. 
UMW turns to courts in AT messy dispute. Um, more about the resignation, death notices. This might. Um, Well, I was going to see if they had birthdays. Yeah. Um, and the reason, like, sometimes they have the the, the birth, the date of birth. Um, it, it be, and I guess it's interesting because when I was uh, a kid, I remember, um, well, my, you know, my great-grandmother babysit me. She was born in 1897. I remember um, being with my dad in a feed store one time, and this guy wearing overalls, this old man, he was buying some feed, having it loaded in the back, his back of his pickup truck. And... Uh, when he was doing this credit or his charge voucher, they asked his birthday. He, he he was born in 1890. I remember that. Now this was this was before 1986, but still, just can you imagine that? I mean, obituaries. Um. But you know, there were a lot of people that's still alive in 1986 who were born in the 19th century. Then. We, there are no people left on the planet who were born in the 19th century. There are no people left who were on the Titanic. There are no people left who fought in World War I. When I was a kid, there were still World War I veterans who were working. So it's really amazing how time gets away from us. Um, HR Block, here we got Shower to Shower, Powder, Halls, Robitussin. It's all the wintertime stuff. Um... Sports, uh, wrestling. I need to get a little bit of coffee here. Mm. Evening coffee, one of the best times of the day. Sitting here with you, reading a paper, drinking coffee. It's a good way to spend a Sunday evening. Um, just thinking about how things have changed. And here's all the classified ads. Mobile homes. Um, machine operators needed. Explosive blaster. Must be experienced in all phases of blasting. Um, general laborers, general assistants. Lost and found. Ladies watch lost. Schnauzer mix found. Announcements. Do you have a drinking problem? If so, write AA PO Box 97. See Jefferson Memorial's distinctive markers. Uh, look and feel better than you ever have with herbal products. Pheasant hunt at TNT shooting grounds. Six pheasants released per hunter. Well, that doesn't sound fair. You're not gonna go out and find them. Uh, Alaska Kodiak stoves, inserts oil, gas. Uh, sometimes you can just see some interesting things you just don't see now. But most of these are just very run of the mill. I mean, I don't, we don't usually see explosive blaster jobs where I live. So let's see if there's any old cars for sale. Uh, 1978 Camaro, 1976 Monte Carlo. Um, let's see if there's anything older. 1983, 1985, 1982, 1978 Seville. See, in the 80s, uh, 50s cars were all the rage. You, everyone wanted a 57 Chevy or something. And of course they would be hard to find. Ah, the best part of the paper right here. As a kid, this was the part. Uh, oh my, look at this. Karate Kid. Bruce Lee's son chops out his own niche. Los Angeles. Brandon Lee says he's more interested in Hamlet than following his late father Bruce Lee in the martial arts movies. Lee stars with David Carradine 
in Kung Fu the movie, but he said he hopes the first time he will play a martial arts expert is also his last. I want to do many other parts, said the 20-year-old Lee. I don't want to be stuck doing martial arts parts or just Chinese parts. I want to do all kinds of things. I don't want to be seen as Bruce Lee's son and nothing more. Carradine reprises his role as Kane, a Shaolin priest who robes the Old West. The time is 20 years late after the end of the series, which ran on ABC from 1972 to 1975. In the movie, which CBS will broadcast Saturday, a Manchurian with a death warrant for Kane comes from China, accompanied by a young martial arts expert named Chung Wang, played by Brandon Lee. Although his life is in danger, Kane exposes an opium smuggling plot. Lee was working as a gopher for a production company when he had a chance meeting with casting director Lin Stallmaster, who was trying to cast the part of Chung Wang. Lee auditioned four times before he was accepted. I was well prepared for the parts, Lee. I've been doing martial arts all my life. He is an expert in Yi Shaun Tao, which he says is a study of my body as well as my mind. I think in picking up this glass, I'm cognizant of the way you're sitting in any moves you may make. It's not a series of moves. A movement is meaningless if it doesn't have a spiritual meaning behind it. And it's very sad to read this because we all know what happened to Brandon Lee. Uh, and my favorite comics were Beetle Bailey, Hagar, Ziggy. My all-time favorite is probably The Far Side. And I don't think I see it here. Um, Robot Man. I don't even remember that one. Little Orphan Annie. Archie. Um, Brenda Starr, Dick Tracy, Doonesbury. I never liked that one. That was like from my parents' generation. It was about like politics and stuff. Um, Shu, The Born Loser, Frank and Ernest. That was from my grandparents' generation. Along with Little Orphan Annie, Marvin. Gasoline Alley was my grandparents' generation. Uh, they even had a Rito chauffeur, The Phantom, Alley Oop, and Mark Trail. Um, here's the weather. Today, uh, today will be partly sunny with highs in the middle 20s. Oh my goodness, that's cold. It's January in Pennsylvania, though. What do you expect? So that's some, this is like at some of the TV shows. Uh, evening. Give me a break. Heart to Heart. McNeil Lair, News Hour, Bewitched. Dallas Home, Different Strokes. Uh, NBC News, Three's Company, I Dream of Genie. Uh, one Day at a Time, Wheel of Fortune, Mash, Divorced Court, Entertainment Tonight, Interviewing Justine Bateman from Family Ties, um, Evening Magazine, Fate Dunaway, Magnum P.I., Magnum's assignment to guard a valuable artifact on board an inter island cruise ship takes a turn for, toward the deadly, Ripley's Believe It or Not, HBO, Barbara Streisand, Cosby Show, Matt Houston, Barnaby Jones, movie The Hunters with Robert Mitchum, Family Ties, Alex faces off against a Russian opponent in a college chess tournament, HBO movie Starman with Jeff Bridges and Karen Allen, Cheers, Star, Starflight, the plane that couldn't land, I remember that, I remember watching that, you didn't, as you can see we didn't have very many channels back then. Night Court, Liberace, oh, 2020, Hill Street Blues. My dad loved that show. I never really liked it. HBO movie, Moreau, uh, Benny Hill. Mm, let's see. Attack of the Mushroom People. Late Night with Dave Letterman. From Hell to Victory. Uh, that was that was TV, all in all the TV in this little spot right here. Can you imagine? And we end here. Not one penny down, not one penny payments, and no finance charges till June fifteenth, nineteen eighty six. And we were on January twenty ninth or January thirtieth, nineteen eighty six, and we just took a trip back in time. And I hope you enjoyed it. See my fingers. With a little bit of black newsprint on them. That was the the hazard of reading the newspaper. Okay, I just slammed that coffee. Let's get on with the evening. 
and um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my channel just subscribe leave a comment if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you are subscribed and if you want to know about my uh, upcoming videos click the bell icon um, thank you so much for all the comments and support I will I do answer comments I usually answer them oh you know in, in increments so uh, but I will get around answering your comment and thank you so much for everything until next time bye